Well, Tim, let's get started on our vegan cheesecake for Shavuot. The first thing that you're gonna do is make the base. So I love this base, especially if you're gluten-free because you're just gonna combine some almonds, some oats, some salt, and a little bit of sugar. It's that simple. And this base you could use for so many things. You could even use this for a slice. You can see when it's all blended up, it just gets nice and fine, almost like a flour. Now, I choose to melt my coconut oil separately because I think that it just gives you greater control of the consistency. Some people choose to put it into the blender while they're blending, but as you can see, I measured out all of my coconut oil and then you do want it melted. I measured out about five tablespoons of coconut oil and in the end I probably used closer to four so it really depends on how fine your blend is as to how much you will use so I just gently poured it in a little bit at a time and then you're gonna stir it until it makes a really nice dough Adding a little bit more and you can see that it's starting to get a bit more firm and it's starting to gather in those clumps that's what you want and you want to be able to sort of press it in between your two fingers and have it stick together so that was really good that consistency and now I put it straight into a small baking pan you could put it into a cake dish if you have one um, but I found it easier to put it into a baking pan and you'll see how I cut it up at the end. But this is the really fun part. You're gonna wanna slowly but surely flatten, 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 going from the middle to the outside edges. And you wanna make sure it's really not too thick in the middle. If you want, you can also use something else flat, the bottom of a drinking glass. Um, I've used the bottom of a measuring cup before. So anything that's gonna give you a straight, flat base and try and thin it out as much as possible and as evenly as possible. And there it is. So we're going to pop it into the oven and then it comes out like this. Now you're going to want to make sure it has some color. It's a little bit golden brown. Obviously every oven is different so make sure that you're not overcooking it. And for the cheesecake mix it's actually really easy. I've popped in some tofu, some almond milk, maple syrup, some cornstarch that's going to give it a little bit of thickness there some lemon juice and some cinnamon I also added off camera a banana and some cashews to give it a bit more thickness blend it all up and it pours out just like that it's absolutely beautiful for the peanut butter swirl, you can see I'm not a fan of dishes, so I'm literally just pouring it straight back into the blender that I've just emptied from the cheesecake mix. So you really can just use the same blender again because it's gonna all get stirred up anyway. Obviously, peanut butter or some kind of nut butter is the base. Add some unsweetened almond milk to that and a little bit of cornstarch as well. I put in some sugar. We love a little bit of extra sweetness. And a bit more cinnamon. I'm a huge cinnamon fan, so I was very generous with this, but you can use any spices that you really like. Now we're gonna put it all together. So pour in that beautiful cheesecake mix. Spreads out really easily on top of the base. Now we've allowed the base to cool a little bit first while we've made our cheesecake mixture. Once that peanut butter swirl is all blended, you just dollop it on the top like this. I was very generous again. It's really, really fun to do this phase. You can just dollop it all over and you can also add a little extra if you find that you've got some empty space once you start swirling. I used a skewer and I just really went all over the place. This is probably the most fun part of this process. Just swirl it in whatever pattern you want. If you're a bit more of an advanced baker then you may have a really really good technique for doing this but I just had a lot of fun mixing it all around I did add a little bit more and then swirled it one more time 
and that's the finished product. Pop it into the oven and an hour or so later, there you have it. You can see that the edges are starting to come away a little bit and that for me tells me that it's really done. You're gonna leave it in the fridge overnight and then the next day, someone already got into it before I could even open it. Can you believe it? <laughs> someone got up earlier than me and took a bite and clearly enjoyed it. But I'm gonna show you how I cut it up into triangle pieces, even though it's been in a baking pan. So the first thing you're gonna do is cut it in half and then cut rectangles and then cut those up diagonally. Then you'll have lots of triangles and you can make these whatever size you like. It really, really, really doesn't matter. If you want smaller pieces, cut a thinner rectangle and then cut it diagonally. Um, you can even put it into bars, any kind of slice shape, it's really up to you. That's the finished product. A beautiful vegan cheesecake for Shavuot. Please let us know in the comments how yours came out. Do you have a different vegan cheesecake recipe or other vegan Shavuot treats that you enjoy? Let us know and we'll see you next time.